During the chaos of World War II, ordinary civilians across Europe and the Pacific learned to defend their homes with what little they had. Metal was rationed, wood was scarce, and factory production was focused entirely on the war front. Yet even then, families in bomb-prone cities like London, Warsaw and Berlin developed ingenious ways to keep intruders, both human and environmental, out of their homes. One of the most overlooked of these methods was a door reinforcement technique so simple, so effective, that it's still capable of outsmarting modern break-in tactics today. Let's start right there, because most people think door security means buying a $300 lock or a smart camera. But back in 1941, people didn't have Wi-Fi. They had grit, steel instinct, and a survival mindset that made them engineers of necessity. The method I'm about to walk you through was developed out of desperation, tested under real wartime duress, and quietly passed down through rural tradesmen after the war. If you've ever wondered how civilians protected their homes when the sirens wailed and the soldiers marched, this is one of those forgotten secrets that deserves to be remembered, and better yet, used again. During the Blitz, the majority of civilian burglaries happened after air raids. Thieves exploited chaos, knowing that police were stretched thin and homes were often empty or damaged. Many Londoners and coastal villagers realised quickly that the biggest vulnerability wasn't the windows or roof. It was the door frame itself. Even a solid oak door could be kicked open if the jam or hinges gave way. Ah, yes, that's when a forgotten innovation began to circulate through carpenters and tradesmen. The crossbar and socket brace a reinforcement method adapted from barn defences and trench engineering. The idea was, well, quite straightforward. Instead of relying solely on hinges and locks, homeowners would create a bracing system that transferred impact force into the wall studs, not the frame. The concept was brutally simple and, oh, incredibly effective. A strong wooden or steel crossbar, often repurposed from old furniture scaffolding poles or even bed frames, was cut to fit horizontally across the inside of the door. On both sides of the doorway, sockets or brackets were installed directly into the masonry or timber studs, not just the decorative trim. When the bar was slotted in place, it created a lockdown barricade that could resist both blunt force and battering rams. You see, the genius wasn't just in strength, it was in direction. Traditional locks only resist force at a few small contact points. The latch, the strike plate, and maybe the hinge screws. But this wartime reinforcement redistributed every hit into the wall structure itself. If someone tried to kick in the door, the energy travelled into the wall studs, not the door frame. It was physics applied to survival. Now civilians refined it over time, adding wedges at each end to tighten the fit sometimes combining it with sandbags at the base to absorb additional shock. This method was not only used during wartime burglaries, it was common in homes near conflict zones, air raid shelters and even field hospitals. Fast forward to today and most modern home doors are mass-produced hollow core designs. Even reinforced steel doors rely on relatively small bolts and electric locks that can be bypassed with brute force or power tools. Meanwhile, the old World War II crossbar system remains nearly unbeatable in raw resistance because it bypasses the door's weakest points altogether. 
When properly fitted, a solid wooden bar across interior brackets can withstand enormous pressure. Tests on similar barricade systems today show they can resist over a thousand pounds of force. Modern burglars, who typically depend on speed and noise discipline, give up long before that point. Unlike alarm systems or high-tech locks, this method doesn't require batteries, Wi-Fi or subscriptions. It's purely mechanical, a survivalist dream, because it keeps working even when the grid doesn't. Recreating this WO2 trick in a modern home is surprisingly straightforward. Start by identifying the strongest section of your doorway, ideally a solid core exterior door attached to wall studs, not decorative framing. Then install two deep metal or hardwood sockets directly into each side of the doorway at about waist height. Cut a wooden or steel bar to fit snugly between the sockets. It should sit tight enough that it takes a firm shove to slot into place. If you found this guide valuable, don't let it stop here. The forgotten way to door reinforcement trick is just one example of how civilians turn desperation into innovation. There are dozens more wartime methods, each one built on real experience, real fear, and real survival. So, if you love learning from the past and want to uncover more lost defence secrets that still work today, make sure you subscribe to Warfield Survival and share this with fellow history enthusiasts. The old world still has lessons to teach, and we're here to keep them alive.